Last December, the Vareas Rugby Club in Argentina won the IRB's Spirit of Rugby Award. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the awards and a fitting time to catch up with some of the previous recipients. Back in 2007, Nicolas Poeta, another Argentine, received a standing ovation at the award ceremony in Paris the day after the World Cup final. The 24-year-old from Buenos Aires had overcome a seemingly insurmountable handicap. To flourish in the sport, his family had always been passionate about. He had to come to a family like ours. It's as if God above chooses, you go there and you go there. Nicholas, you go there, as you'll be great. I'll carry on until I'm no longer an asset to my teammates. I'm not going to give up rugby, it will give up on me. Four years on, what were his memories of that night in Paris? I didn't have a suit or anything formal, so when I got the invitation and read it, it said the dress code was black tie. I didn't even have a shirt with me because I only had a T-shirt and a pair of tracksuit bottoms. Basically, the sports kit I'd been given for the World Cup. So I had to buy a suit. Of course, I couldn't buy it in the Champs-Élysées, so I had to go for a walk around the less expensive shops. I didn't just have to buy a suit, but also a shirt, a pair of shoes, the entire outfit. He spent some time playing in Europe that year before returning to Argentina, back to his home club of San André. The long hair of his younger days may have gone, but his belief in rugby's values and what it teaches you about life remains as strong as ever. I believe that the spirit of rugby is knowing how to adapt what one learns or the philosophy of life behind it. Knowing when to stand up, when to work harder, when to keep on going, when to help others and when to depend on others to achieve something. And I think it is all about that. That rugby doesn't end on the pitch, but that it can be adapted to whatever you go through in life off it as well. Rugby remains a huge part of his life. Although working full-time for a travel agency, Nicholas also travels around the country as a motivational speaker, talking to youngsters about self-fulfillment through adversity. Rugby is still an important part of my life because I am now working for a sports agency where rugby is the main sport. We cover lots of activities related to the game, helped by the knowledge that I've gained. I've also been given the opportunity to tell my story to so many different places, to so many different people, in companies, schools and universities. That's what I do nowadays. And we'll be updating the inspirational stories of other Spirit of Rugby Award winners over the coming months. <laughs>